Hey everybody, Dr. Craig here. Still on vacation, enjoying every minute of it. We uh, just got back from camping at Lac Philippe in Wakefield. Had a great week, the weather was amazing. Uh, lots of uh, uh, campfires, lots of stars swimming in the lake, spending time with the kids and my wife Sarah. Just had an amazing week. Got back yesterday, uh, sorry, Wednesday, and um, came back to my green box, creepy crawling with uh, lots of maggots and disgusting, uh, as repulsive as they are. I'm not gonna show them to you because I, they're just quite rank and disgusting. But um, one of the things that came to mind when I started looking at these uh, maggots was, well, the flies certainly didn't bring the garbage here. So my question to you is, do flies cause garbage? Well, my answer to that is no. And the reason why I'm talking about this subject is because we oftentimes think that germs cause disease. We think that the germs are what caused our flu or our cold or whatever. And in that, we actually create a victim uh, type mentality that we are just vulnerable or that we had no ability to fend off those illnesses. What I'm going to tell you is that the flies don't in fact cause garbage. In fact, the flies are attracted to garbage. The germ theory was started by Louis Pasteur, and if you remember Louis Pasteur, he actually heated up milk so that he could kill germs. What he discovered is that he couldn't grow germs on good, healthy, ripe fruit. What he could do, though, is he could grow germs in rotting soup. So my question is, is if flies don't cause garbage and germs can't form on healthy things, how can they form and create disease in your body? So think about that for a second. If we just keep our bodies healthy, if we keep them strong, or keep our nervous systems vital and energetic and free of interference, if we keep our bodies filled with good nutrition, if we get good exercise, if we keep good positive mental thoughts, what way can we try to avoid creating garbage to attract flies? You understand what I'm saying? So what we're going to do, you know, what we want to do is we want to focus on making sure that your nervous system is healthy. We want to make sure that you're free of interference. That is the cornerstone to health. Secondly, then, you're going to focus on how you physically move your body. How are you going to exercise every day? How are you going to, to recuperate and rest? On the nutritional side, we want to put good, healthy nutrition into our bodies. And we also want to avoid chemicals and toxins and, and, and different things that way. But on the think well component, we want to make sure that we're keeping a good positive attitude, that we're staying away from things that, and people that maybe create negativity in our life, that we're focusing on inspiring and being connected to other people and other groups and other things. All these types of things can help us to keep our bodies good, healthy, free of garbage, so we don't attract the flies. Got it? I'll see you next week.